Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a quarter end review for Q2. I'm going to combine quarter end as well as half year end together. Whatever that I'm going to reflect on will be in conjunction for the entire half year and the goals that I'm going to set will be for the next quarter but obviously having the overarching goal for the next half year together. So again I'm not going to divide it into half and quarter, it's just going to be generic. Uh, again, you can go into as much granularity as you want, but this is how I'm going to go about it. Um, so this year, so rather this quarter, what I've already done is I have gone through um, my quarter from April onwards. So uh, as you guys know, this is my weekly reflections book on every weekly basis. I come here and write what went well, what did not go well. And uh, in a nutshell, if I flip through all these uh, pages here, I will know what has gone well and what has not in the last quarter, last half year and so on. So I have already gone through that uh, and this is uh, the month of June um, and this is where I am in my last uh, week. So till I think about March, I used to write this only over the weekends, what went well, what did not go well. But since every night I actually pick up this book uh, to uh, put in my trackers, it is very um, easy for me to write what went well, one thing, what went well, one thing that did not go well. If I have uh, neither, that is also okay. But having said that, this is giving me a very good reflection of what is happening on a weekly basis. Uh, one of the weeks, uh, and as you know, this weekly reflection page has been an absolute dud for me and I have never used this the way it was intended to. Uh, and I generally stick papers uh, and then write whatever that I have to. So currently I'm writing my video ideas in the last week because uh, with the happy planner stuff, I have a lot of videos uh, that is on a backlog. So that is the reason that list was made. Now my reflections will be on these two pages. So what I'm going to do is what went well, what did not go well and goals for Q3 are going to be here. First stop at all the times will always be um, papers to stick here. And for that I go to my Archetype Studio. This is 2021 Archetype Studio uh, book or rather planner. This was a rings planner. And I absolutely loved this planner. I used it. I had bought this in the middle of the year. So as you can see, the starting months of the year are still here. Uh, so I use this um, loose leaflets more often than not uh, to sticking to pages or even taking one uh, month here and things like that. So last year, I actually also practiced kind of a custom bullet journal. And th this is what I used most of the times to uh, input a quick calendar or a quick weekly view or anything like that. So I absolutely love this idea. Let me see. I have one page that I can stick. It is mostly neutral. I'm going to use stickers uh, to fill it up. So I just need neutral backgrounds. Uh, and this book itself is pretty neutral. I think this looks really pretty. Technically, this is supposed to be colored in. Uh, but I'm just using it as a background. Sometimes if I need extra space to write somewhere, this uh, pages are uh, extremely useful. So if Archetype Studio makes such another planner, I'm definitely going to subscribe for that because these pages, as you know, I've been using this for two years and have never regretted uh, buying this planner. Generally what I do is I, I take my glue tape are stuck now I have to decide on what stickers I'm going to use and on popular demand I had to use one of my happy planner sticker books uh, the wrong wrong uh, happy planner sticker book this is the everyday wrong wrong sticker book so let's see what I can use here I don't want foils these are really pretty foils but I don't want foils uh, I want to do something pink or neutral or Let's see. Oh, I think this color palette is beautiful. I think I don't mind this. Uh, this on this a lot of busy places, this will actually look good. And then just use this headers for the headings. I think this would look nice. I'll just write what went well on this. 
and uh, I'm just going to jot down categories. Mostly it's going to be five categories, health, finances, work, partner and child. Uh, so that is going to be my five categories. So let's start putting in the stickers. So for headers, I'm going to use the farmhouse book and I really loved this headers and that is the reason I was going for the pink theme. Uh, so these peachy headers will really go well with this theme. So as I said, five categories. So I will have one category here and then I will have uh, this particular tab to write in what went well. Category number two. Category number three. Category number four. And to end it all, this is my category number five. I love how this looks. Then let's write all the categories. As I said, uh, my top category is health, child, partner, work and finances. So these are my top five categories where things have actually gone well. Uh, the things that have not gone well, uh, let's make a list of that. So on this page, I just want to use the same sort of uh, logic, but let me see if I can go to another color theme. Actually, I wouldn't mind the grey or the green. Let's take the green because the pink will look really fabulous with the green. So let's see what do we have in the green theme here. Yep, I have this. Let's take the scalloped edged uh, to write what did not go well. I'll do it right in the middle. And then we can go with these categories. So in what did not go well, I just have three categories. So I'm just going to put up three. And from here, I'm already enjoying using these books uh, because the inspiration comes faster and things are less forced upon. Sorry, this sticker is slightly crooked. I'm not going to be worried. Sometimes I really like imperfections uh, in my planners just because it makes me feel more human and I don't really want anything to be perfect. As you can see, this looks chaotic uh, because the paper that I've used has a lot of prints on it and this actually is peeking through. I didn't realize that. It Does it annoy me? Absolutely not. So this is my third category and I need a large... So in the third category, I actually want to write uh, a lot about my health. My health in the past three odd months has been terrible. Uh, so I just want to reflect a little bit more on that. And that is the reason I have the biggest box here. So let me write. So I've just written what went well, what did not go well. Uh, this will have work. I'm just combining a uh, partner, child, both together as family. And this is health. So this is what went well, what did not go well uh, in a nutshell. On these two pages, I will put up my goals for the next quarter and I will not commit the same mistakes that I've committed here because this is looking extremely, extremely busy. So I'm just going to look for some plain papers. I remembered I have this brush tro, uh, book in this color and I have used this paper as scrapbook paper a lot of times and this is really good quality and I have used it multiple number of times. So I'm just going to use this even now. And stickers on this will really pop is what my um, hope is. Again, I'm going to use my glue tape. So now for my goals, uh, I'm, I want to do something slightly fancier. Let me see if I can now actually using foil i'm not very shy of because this is this would be good i think so let me just pull out the plan 
this would be my header so this will be my header again uh, i will have the same five categories health finances work partner child but i'm just going to add two more categories because this is also going to be my guideline for the next one half so i'm just going to add youtube and travel uh, to this uh, as categories let's take one at a time so here i will have category number 1 and the larger box to this i think this box will look really nice my category number 2 put be somewhere here i think this this box here will look nicer this will be my category 3 my health category would be again the biggest box which i will uh, put up in a bit so and my last category on this page would be right here i'm trying to just go a little bit of off page because my this is slightly off page so my health category will come here and i've used the biggest box which is this i have an entire health plan so i just need the largest box of them all i think this is the wrong place i need i'll need more space i'm just going to remove that and see where will this go i'm just going off this page slightly and i will put in my health goals right here actually i'll just write health goals on top of this this scallop can be used uh, for the next goal which is this one and this will be my last goal and this is my last goal so here i want to write goals q3 this will be work child partner finances my youtube goals this will be my travel goals and this will be my health goals now all these spaces that are empty i would really like to go ahead and decorate this with these nice little stickers these stickers also will be a very good reminder of these little things right uh, one day at a time trust your gut etc so i think that is it i know this uh, for some reason there is definitely something miss um for some reason i don't feel satisfied with this uh, particular spread i'm not sure if this is good or bad but i think i'm just going to do uh, do away with this and i'm going to use this as my goals planner um for the next year this apparently does not look that bad uh, but i think choosing foil over this color just does not go and there is a lot of empty space which i like i do not want the foiling to be too overpowering but i think i should have used a few washi tapes here and there I just went without a plan and I'm not happy with this but I have to live with this for the next 3 months so I'm not uh, too much worried at this point so this is much later I was really up upset with how this uh, entire spread looked like so I went ahead and added a few icons and this makes a whole lot of difference actually too much foil was looking extremely bad so what I did is I went ahead and added very few little icons here and there and that made a huge difference let me show you the other page this page looks even better so i absolutely loved uh, how i put little icons and then saved this entire spread offline i will write uh, the reflection on my uh, half year and i will jot down my quarter three goals together here so thank you so much for watching if you've come so far uh, thank you thank you so much i am extremely grateful for you please do like and subscribe if you want such content to come your way thank you so much have a nice day bye now